How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. The man, the myth, the legend, Leo Collins is now a bangle. That brings in Collins, that brings in Karis, and that brings in the other guy who's named Kappa. The guy's name I can never seem to remember. Kappa Karis Collins. Bunch of cuss. Coming to the Bengals. Three offensive linemen upgrading each specific position they're going to be jumping into from the season prior. That brings those three with Jonah Williams. And then the last and final offensive line position for the Bengals, which is either, you know, if you go after a guy in free agency, a left guard would be, or it could be a center. But as of right now, it looks like they're looking to fill the left guard spot and you move Karras over to center. We will see. But the question is, if you're the Bengals, is that the game you want to play? Do you want to shuffle a guy that had a really good season at guard last season back to center? Or do you want to try to find a center in free agency and just make this offensive line that much better? I think as a guy that, mind you, I am not afraid to admit was pro Peeny Sewell over Jamar Chase, has been pro just throw the entire bank account at any offensive lineman that wants to play for the Bengals. And it would just, that was it. That's all I was worried about this offseason. Protect Joe Burrow, protect Joe Burrow, protect Joe Burrow. I think it is safe to say they did that and i am more than happy to put a guy like jackson carmen at left guard now mind you this is a guy did he have the most stellar season last year no but you got to remember when these guys are younger 21 22 linemen a lot of them they take a year or two to really develop into that role and he didn't exactly start the entire season i think this is a guy you drafted him to play on this offensive line and i think you give him that extra year of development and improvement not to mention he's going to have so many more talented linemen around him this year to help him grow and help him improve. I don't think you notice as many of those flaws. They don't stick out as much. The way I always like to think about it is an okay offensive lineman can look like a really bad offensive lineman if he's playing with some really, really bad players around him. But an okay offensive lineman playing around some really good offensive linemen can make that guy look like an above average offensive lineman, if not better. And I ain't trying to categorize Carmen at all here. I think, again, this guy, you got to give him some time. He's still really young. He could turn out to be a stud. But I think when you look at it from that logic, filling that hole with Carmen is not really going to be near as difficult, I don't think. I think he's going to do more than enough to help protect Joe Burrow, help hold things up. I think he's going to be serviceable, serviceable plus. I think he's a guy with a lot of upside. And worst comes to worst, you can always bring back Quentin Spain as a little insurance policy here. But I'd like to see Carmen get a chance to play. I really would. I think the Bengals offensive line's in good shape where it is right now. Ready to look at uh, some defensive players here if they want to spend some more players in free or spend some more money in free agency. Maybe get some depth guys as well. Because again, you got to be able to factor in for the injuries. I love you guys' thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.